Hi guys. As most computers and laptops don't have a Firewire connection anymore, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to transfer your old mini DV cassettes to your computer. Here's the mini DV I want to record from and the cassette that I want to use. What we need to do is connect this to a game capture device. This is an unusual device to actually use to capture uh, mini DV film, but as we had one in the house, I thought I'd give it a go and it worked. So on the back of the um, mini DV camera, there's several connections, which I'll go through in a moment um, to connect to your capture device. So this is the game capture device that I used. It's the Roxio GameCap HD Pro. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you how to connect it. Bear in mind, if you have another game capture device that you're going to use to do this, you will need to maybe do a little experiment to see what cable goes into which port. First things first, let's connect the cable to the AV port on the Mini DV. So as you can see, that is here. We make sure that that's in nice and secure. Now the other end of the cables, uh, we have the audio and the video cable. There's two audio as it's stereo, and these fit into the audio right for the red, audio left for the white, and strangely, um, in, on the Roxio, I had to put the video port into the green connector. Now on the back of the Roxio, once that's connected, you'll see the USB port. So we need to attach that. And then the other end, you'll notice is a, a normal USB connector. Now this actually needs to be put directly into your computer, like so and then we can start the capture. Please make sure that you've already downloaded the game capture software. I don't think that the actual capture device would work without it. So with Roxio, um, the software provides you the capture area and an edit and share, so you can edit your film afterwards. Okay, so we're gonna click on capture and it takes a little while to load up. Apologies, this is a very slow laptop and it doesn't belong to me. Okay, so what we need to do, once this is loaded, you need to ensure that the um, cable that you've inserted corresponds to the cable that the Roxio is looking for. So if you look on input, it will say component. If it says HDMI, you need to change it to component. Right, now we're ready to capture some film. Okay, now what we need to do is um, turn on the mini DV camcorder to player mode so that you can find the piece of film that you want to record. So you go to that part. Now, what we need to do first, we don't just press play we need to start the capture so that you don't miss anything. So if you notice in the top left of the screen, um, here's the capture software and I will click start capture. And now what I need to do is go to the mini DV camera and I need to press the play button. Um, this will actually record in real time. So do not press stop unless you've got to the part that you want to finish on. So here we are, we press play and there we go. There's our holiday in Cornwall 2007. Okay, once you've finished, what you need to do is press stop capture and this particular software automatically saves it so that you can um, put it into its editing software and um, broadcast it either on YouTube or put it onto your computer um, to view later. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, 
let me know in the comments if you need any help with anything else or if, if there's something further you want to ask about capturing um, the mini DV film. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.